to typeset mathematical statements, equations, variables, and so on, we switch in LaTeX into a different mode from the normal uh, text typesetting mode. And there are two modes available. If you have a inline formula, a variable that happens, that appears like a word in the middle of a paragraph, you can switch into inline math mode using either the dollar sign or backslash parenthesis, whereas backslash square bracket gets you into the displayed math mode where you can have a equation, for example, um, centered um, and uh, separated from the surrounding paragraph lines with a little bit of vertical space. And in math mode, LaTeX will behave very differently from normal mode. In particular, space characters are completely ignored. Uh, Tech has its own rules for how to add additional space around operators based on numerous heuristics. Um, sometimes these heuristics may go slightly wrong and you may want to add a slight additional space. You can do this, for example, with a backslash comma, that's a thin space. The most significant difference between normal uh, text mode and um, math mode is uh, LaTeX switches to a different font, the so-called computer modern math italic font. And the math italic font, and this is a quite common mistake that people make or don't appreciate, is different from the regular italic mode. It has a different inter-character spacing. The math italic mode is exclusively designed in order to typeset sequences of single letter variable names. So if you have an equation and it says uh, you have a variable A, a variable B, a variable C, and you want to typeset A times B types C, then just typing A, B, C is fine and the spacing is optimized for that use case. You should never ever use the math italic font that you get by default in um, math mode in order to typeset English words. And to show you, for example, uh, if I just type the word different in math mode, you can see that you get these abnormally large spaces between, for example, the, the I and the F, which would look quite appropriate if this is just a uh, series of uh, products, but it looks quite silly in um, if used to typeset a word. Um, there are commands available to typeset in a regular font. So for example, there's a mathrm command which switches back to the normal upright or Roman font. And then if you have, for example, a, uh, a difference speed uh, v subscript diff, you can say v subscript, that's what the underscore does. Um, and then in mathrm, um, you typeset the English word or abbreviation diff, and that is not typeset in the math italic font. Also important um, in mathematical typesetting, it's customary to use italic fonts only in order to indicate that a letter is a variable. So if you have any letters uh, that denote constants or unit of measurement, these are not typeset in italic. And because there are a lot of Constant, common constant function symbols, for example, uh, cosine here or logarithm or the maximum function. Um, it would be a bit tedious to use for all of these mathrm or there's also a backslash operator command available for typesetting uh, such names. Um, therefore, these have been predefined. You can just type backslash max or backslash log and then you get the upright um, constant function logarithm, for example, uh, typeset. Um, if you have more than one equation, if you have multiple lines of equations, um, then there exists extensions that allow you to quite neatly align them where you can, for example, mark with an ampersand in certain alignment environments that all the equal signs or certain equal signs in a 
series of equations should all line on top of each other. And in order to um, get access to these, you should load the EMS math package. Uh, that's a mathematics extension to LaTeX provided by the American Mathematical Society, hence the name EMS math. And with TechDoc EMS, uh, EMS math or EMS LaTeX documentation, um, you get the documentation for that. Um, in math mode, you also have access to numerous additional commands that don't exist in uh, regular mode. Um, and I've shown here just some of the many mathematical symbols that you can easily access, access for example, uh, Greek letters in some variation, um, binary operators, uh, relations, um, not just the normal less than or greater than, but mathematicians often have a need, especially in algebra, to define lots of additional types of greater than like or less than like uh, relations. So there's a rich variety of these. It's also possible to negate any of these relations by just putting backslash not in front of them. That's a macro that usually gets it quite right by putting a slash through the relation symbol. There's also many arrows in all possible directions and shapes um, and lots of other mathematical letter-like symbols, for example, uh, sort of a black letter uh, for R and I for real and imaginary number or a partial symbol for partial differential equations, infinities, and so on. There's a couple of macros for sequences of three dots, ellipses. Um, in particular, there is one called L dots. These are dots on the line, and the L dots are usually used between other punctuation uh, symbols that are also on the line, most notably commas. So if you write a comma b comma dot 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 comma z, um, you would use L dots because they nicely line up with the commas. Whereas if you have an ellipsis between operators that are uh, centered within the height of a lowercase letter, such as the plus sign, then you would use center dots because they nicely align with these operators. If you write an ellipsis, then the spacing of the three dots is somewhat larger than what you normally get by just typing dot 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 on your keyboard. Therefore, never do that. Otherwise, you get these um, very narrow dot sequences. There's also vertical dots and diagonal dots, and these are used inside matrices, for example, or other two-dimensional arrangements of um, formulas. Then there are also some uh, large operators, um, for example, summation sign, product sign, integrals, and equivalents of these from set theory, logic, and so on. Um, and uh, many of these have similar names to their smaller equivalent, but a big in front of them, plus you have backslash sum, backslash prod, backslash int for these very common symbols. Um, there are also, um, oh yes, the these uh, large operators, um, LaTeX automatically changes the styling and the size depending on whether you are in inline mode or in display mode. So in inline mode, you get, for example, automatically a somewhat smaller product sign and the, um, the range over which this product sign iterates is put after the operator as a subscript and superscript. This is done such that the line in the middle of the paragraph doesn't occupy too much vertical space and LaTeX doesn't have to move the lines above and below too much out of the way. Whereas if you are in a displayed equation, you can use a larger operator and the start and stop um, 
range of this iteration will automatically move above and below. Um, there's also a range of uh, delimiters, um, brackets, uh, braces, angle brackets. Uh, for example, there is the uh, floor and ceiling operators, which come from APL and which are usually used to uh, indicate that a real number is either rounded down to the next lower integer or is rounded up to the next higher integer. Um, you have the ability to uh, create some new um, delimiters, for example, double square brackets or double angle brackets by putting a little negative space, a backslash exclamation mark uh, between them. And many of these uh, delimiters uh, can also be grown. The LaTeX fonts or tech fonts contain fragments of different types of delimiters and the typesetting engine automatically uses these to compose larger versions or arbitrary large versions of parentheses, for example. And in order to get very large parentheses, you use the left and right macros. So if you have a larger object, for example, here a sum from zero to infinity of x to the power i, then you surround these with backslash open parenthesis, a backslash left open parenthesis, backslash right um, closing parenthesis, and the left and right macros will automatically measure how large is this um, box that has been typeset in between them, and then they will automatically choose the right size of parenthesis to enclose this properly. Um, for some of these mathematical symbols, there are alternative shorter names, for example, um, for instead of backslash not equals, you can also write backslash NE for equal and so on. Um, the arrow to the right can also be written as backslash two because that's a common meaning in mathematics. Mathematical notation is a somewhat two-dimensional affair. So there are lots of macros in order to stack things on top of each other. If you want to have something in a superscript, you write it after a, for example, variable name with a circumflex, and then you can group everything together that has to go into the superscript. Or if it's just a, a single letter, you don't need these grouping parenthesis like with other uh, macro arguments. The underscore gives you the subscript. If you use both a superscript and a subscript simultaneously, it doesn't matter in which order you use first the circumflex and then the underscore. You will also notice that the spacing automatically changes slightly. So if you have both, then the subscript will automatically go a little bit uh, deeper such that it does not collide with a superscript. You can put lines above and below uh, mathematical expressions. You can put braces above and below mathematical expressions. Um, if you then add to the braces a subscript, that will automatically end underneath at the center of these braces. You can also have two-dimensional arrays for typesetting things such as matrices or uh, distinction between different cases. What I've done here is I use begin array and end array, the array environment in mathematics mode. And I have to specify at the start of the array uh, environment as a argument for each column in the array, um, what its horizontal alignment is. So here I've specified CL. That means I have one column of centered um, elements and I have one column of left aligned elements. And then I just follow with the elements. They are separated with an ampersand uh, within a line and the individual lines are separated by a double backslash. And how do I get this big, uh, these big braces at the start here with backslash left open braces? 
And then I need to also specify a backslash right macro to indicate where the block that determines the height of these braces ends. I do this here, but I don't actually want to typeset a close, uh, any kind of closing delimiter here. So I just provide a uh, period and the period is ignored by the right command.